Oh, Patrice, how are you? Good, thanks. Well, I know that you've been going through a lot lately and um, I need to know what's happening for you, okay? This is a quick um, assessment tool to just see what's happening for you on the inside. I can't guess how you're going really from the outside. So I'm gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna fill out for me whether you've got no worries about the question, big worries, or just some worries, okay? A few people have told me they're a bit worried about you and I wanna check in to see if you're worried about you. Okay? Yep. Cool. All right. So the first question is just about family, okay? If you've got any worries about family at the moment, just generally. So would you say you've got no worries at all or big worries or sort of something in the middle? Something in the middle? Yeah. So you can just circle it. Great. Okay. Now this question, I'm checking in to see if you've got that nervous jumpy, you know when your leg goes and your leg's going up and down and you're feeling like maybe your heart's moving very quickly. Um, do you have that nervous jumpy feeling at the moment? No. No, so no worries at the moment. That's great. Okay, what about ganja or uh, smoking tobacco, grog, uh, or any other drug? Do you have any worries about that at the moment? No. No, okay. Now this one here is a special one. Sometimes some people get a big mob of energy and they can't slow down, okay? So they feel like they've got to keep busy all the time and talking really quickly. Are you having any worries like that at the moment? No. No. That's a question asking about if someone's experiencing a, a manic episode or a hypermanic episode. It's important that we clarify whether the person is experiencing that amount of energy if they are, if that's normal for them, is it drug induced or is it actually a mental health worry that we need to look further into. It helps if we've already looked at their health record and we know if they actually have bipolar disorder. Okay, what about being alone, not sort of spending time with other people, but actually wanting to shut down and, and hide away from others? No worries. No worries, okay. That's good. Now, is that normal for you? Would you say it's normal for you to be spending time with other people and socializing? Yeah. Okay, great, good. Okay, so at the moment, you've got no worries about those things and that's good to hear. I'm really glad. We're gonna flip it over and have a look at this page and see these big stars? Yeah. These stars mean that these questions are very important and we might have to do something um, to help you if you've got any worries in these areas, okay? All right. Now, feeling sad inside, no interest in, in doing things. So this is about maybe not having any motivation, crying a lot, not connecting with other people. No worries. You've got no worries. Great. No worries. Okay. This one here is about having silly thinking, maybe a bit rama rama, um, feeling paranoid, thinking people are talking about you, uh, your thoughts are all mixed up. You might um, be concerned that other people uh, have access to your information. They're reading your diary or reading your Facebook messages. Do you have any worries about that? No. Okay. 
This one here is around hearing voices or seeing things. If a person has worries about hearing voices or seeing things, we need to check that it's not a cultural matter. Sometimes in a person's culture, uh, they might have experienced a spell or some kind of black magic. And it might not be our belief system, but we need to check if it's their belief system. If it is their belief system, we need to rethink our assessment and then it's good to get cultural advice about how to move forward. We can't just assume that it's a, a, a diagnostic mental health disorder. Okay. No worries. No worries about that one. Okay. Now, um, someone told me that recently you had um, been drinking and had said that you were going to hurt yourself, that you wanted to suicide. And I'm a bit concerned, I'm worried about that, okay? Do you have any worries for you about suicide or hurting yourself? They are different things, but I need to check in with you. No worries. So you're not worried about it? What about your family? Are they worried about it? Some worries. Okay, so you've got some worries about that. Okay. Okay. So we do need to talk about what's happening for you. I know it's been a couple of times that you've been out drinking with family and you've gotten upset. I think there was a story that someone told me about there was some jealousy from your boyfriend, um, which I know can happen a lot, hey? Um, he was getting jealous about you and being friends with some of his mates or something. Is that story right? Yeah. Tell me if I'm, if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, and then what I heard was that you then said that you were going to kill yourself. You were actually going to hang yourself. Is that the true story? Yeah. That's the true story. Okay. I feel, I feel worried about that. And I can see you have some worries about that too. And if you have worries about that, then I need to listen. That's my job, is to listen to any worries that you might be having. So we don't want that to happen again. So what do we need to do to reduce your worries and make sure that that doesn't happen anymore? Are there problems with your boyfriend that we need to work out or do we need to have some chats with your family? Um, chat with family? Yeah, okay. I think that would be great if we can talk with family. I want to check, are these thoughts you're having about, um, about suicide or hanging yourself? I know it's hard to talk about. Um, are they today? Or is it just when you're having those drinking and fights with family and your boyfriend? Just drinking. Okay. So when was the last time that happened? Um, last week. Last week. Okay. Well, I don't really want to leave um, today knowing that this has been happening. So can we go see some family and talk about it? Yep. See if we can make a bit of a plan. Because there's, you know, there's better ways to manage these worries. And we don't want something to happen to you. Do you think about ever hurting yourself outside of drinking or is it just when you have these times with family and you're having grog? When I'm having grog. Okay. All right. That's good to know that it's not happening every day. So I'm checking risk level. I'm checking to make sure that she's not at serious risk of harm today. But I don't know that for sure because she could go home and drink. So I'm not going to leave Patrice. We're going to go see family and talk and see if we can make a plan. I also might do another risk assessment. 
such as the uh, Kessler 10 and uh, maybe the patient health questionnaire just to make sure that Patrice is okay and that I followed my obligations to make sure that she's safe. The last question here is about violent, strange or any silly behaviour. Have you been violent at all? Um, have you hurt anyone that you um, didn't mean to hurt or anything like that? Have you been having any fights? No. Okay. So, sounds like when you're getting upset, the, the stress goes inside yep. and you want to hurt yourself, not other people. That's good to hear. Okay, so that's a, is that a no worries or yeah. some worries? Okay. Um, we can also see a, a nunkari or a cultural healer um, if you'd like. I'm happy to help um, talk with you about that some more. I'm sure you know more about that than me. But um, I want you to know that there's lots of different ways that we can help to work these problems out. And you know, suicide's definitely not the way to work it out. It sounds like when you have these experiences with Grog and family and your boyfriend, it, the stress gets too much, hey, and you want it to stop. Yeah. Yeah. And often when we feel suicidal, it's because we want the situation to stop, not our lives to stop. There's a difference. We want... Um, what's happening to change, not our lives to end. Does that sound right? Yeah. Because you're okay the rest of the time? Yeah. Great, all right. So we'll notice the difference between the two, hey? And um, let's go see some family. Yeah. Great, all right, let's go.